Here we go. Y'all like our hoodies? Yeah, Y'all like you our hoodies? Get you, get you, get you one, get you one, get you one, cook swag, get you one, cook swag. Yeah, what up beauty babies and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to Today's video is gonna be Today's video is gonna be our moving out story because I'm moving the hell out. That's what the hell that means. We fucking breaking up. She moving the fuck out. That's what that means. It means we moving the hell out. She moving the fuck out. Let me tell you about y'all the move out experience right now. Tell us about my move. Throw all her shit off. We ain't doing that shit, but I'm moving the hell out. We finna throw all her shit over the deck. Anyways, okay. Anyways, today's video is going to be today's video is going to be our moving out experiences and we're gonna start don't touch me we're gonna start from when we first got together after we got together we got together in june 2014 and baby was working at walmart and we just wanted to spend more time with one another and so um the baby lived like 45 minutes away yeah and i would like make mm -hmm. that drive and that's just mm -hmm. gas, and gas was just, hella expensive yeah. back then but we wanted to spend more time with one another and um i guess my mom thought i needed a new job so she was like why don't you want to get you a job and i was like that is a great idea but we're just like hey you're gonna move in with one another so um she got me a job at walmart so we started living together and I like slowly started to move my stuff in when we realized that we, hey we wanted to actually move in. Joy T actually was like, like I want you to, to move in with me, and I was like, where are they? At? You feeling the kid? And time out to that too because if anybody knows me personally, y'all could be anywhere else in the house. I don't care. Be anywhere else in the house. Fuck up the carpet. Fuck up the kitchen. I don't, I don't care. The Do room. not come in my room. Yeah. Oh my God. It has to be like the number one rule. Yeah. Student housing, y'all know how y'all only have one collective living room and dining area, but your rooms are separate. <clears throat> so having Tiana move in really meant move into my room. Yeah. Like it didn't mean move into my apartment. It yeah. literally meant move into my room. Yeah. Like, so this was a very big step. Like, I, so like when no, she said she, I was yeah. feeling her, like, she was, I was feeling her. Like, I was like, okay, she can move in. Like, right. share my bathroom, my toilet, my bed. Like, the little, what are they, full-size beds in college? Yeah, they're full-size. They're like little full-size beds, yeah. both of us. Me and Tiana never had an issue with one another. We absolutely love living together. Like, we cooked, we cleaned, like, we, we built a everything. system. Like, yeah, we, we did everything together. together. Yeah. Like, we got fat together, y'all. Like, yeah. like y'all, we, we, if y'all look at other videos, y'all, yeah. we got fat together. Yeah. We were together all the time. All the time. Yeah. As far as the internal experience, it was blissful. Yeah. It was the best decision I've ever made. Yeah. You know, I'm glad I took that leap when I was like, I, it was, it was like right. hanging out with your best friend all the time. Like, we had the same like hygiene practices, so we weren't like button heads when it came to like cleanliness of the house. And yeah, stuff. That was, and that's a big thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I don't think like I never thought about that because before I asked him to move in, we had been over one another's house separately. So I would come over to her apartment, she would come over to my apartment. And Tiana's bathroom and stuff, she she was she was clean. So yeah. I never questioned like, oh, is she dirty? Like, are we gonna have a hygiene issue? It was yeah. just more of a, am I gonna have her? Like, are we gonna get tired of if one another? Other? space. Yeah, yeah, it was like, are we gonna get bored of one another? That's how like the first few, few months wasn't right before she had moved in. Our living experiences have been very positive, y'all. It's all the external shit that we finna tip on. That, that's finna give y'all like a whirlwind of shit. What y'all need to be ready for is all that fuck shit, okay? So, me and Tana absolutely love each other, so moving in is never a problem. We lived there for 11 months, and we almost made it to that 12th month, and then that's when that story time kicks in. So after we got into an argument with fuck boy and fuck girl, um, we had to move into another apartment. In the same apartment complex that was nasty as hell, and I, if you watching this, please clean up after yourself, because that is <laughs> so damn nasty. And we're nasty. And it was like, it was slovenly, y'all. It was filth. It you was, know, yes, like it was, filthy. it was like how y'all gonna have the nerve to like operate like properly oh, no, yeah. in this house. Like there was shit everywhere. Every, like, as soon as you the door, it was just dirt. It's like they yeah. never cleaned the whole time they were like Ever. the whole three years they were there. They Ever. never cleaned. And they had all kinds of shit around the fucking house. So me and Tyler walk up up in the house with our shit, and her boyfriend's in there cooking ramen noodles, whatever the fuck he cooking. Mind you, there's caked up grease and all kinds of cake this batter and shit all over the fucking kitchen. Spaghetti. The fucking fridge and Oh, Y'all, yeah. she had food to feed a whole Swiss army, my nigga. But it was only her and her boyfriend. Yeah. And she was never, they was never really home enough so to like cook. Burger King bags, all kinds. Of all the shit was spoiled and shit. So this is like, this is apartment B, bro. Yeah. At this point, yeah. so we just sitting here like, like, I don't think it's worth it. Like, is it worth it? Like, yeah. should we just keep sleeping With in nice. our dysfunction? Yeah. 
with knives just in case they get stupid or can we deal with this filth Filth, that's outside of our room room. room. yeah you know so we end up just biting the bullet because we was like look we can't well yeah and and they were nice and it was like cool but they're just dirty but they dirt out way i don't give a fuck who they were it was so bad they they was just dirty y'all but we just stuck it up because we were clean so we're like let's just make our little area clean and so we did they had to move out like what two weeks before or a week Mm -hmm. before yeah because we had to um we were moving into another student um housing of complex but y'all know when y'all are on uh, campus and shit like that, y'all have like that two week uh, period where d- nobody can be on yeah. campus, no one can be on campus, clean all that shit. Stuff. Yeah, where they where they clean up and all that other shit. So that's what happened at our, our off campus apartment, and um, we didn't have nowhere to go for those two weeks. Yeah. So our property manager allowed us to stay in, in the apartment for like a good extended two weeks. So it worked out perfectly. After that, we moved to our previous apartment, and that's where we like we started our whole YouTube journey. So then we moved into this one, and this one is like the big shebang, or because we had to do the utmost to get here. Y'all, if uh, does you say Bolt run hurdles? Does he run hurdles? Who? You saying Bolt? Oh, I thought you said the same boat right? I thought that was a saying you say. I'm like, what? If you say boat runs hurdles, y'all, that's how many hurdles we had to jump through to get into this fucking apartment. Do y'all understand? Y'all know that boy you saying fast. Imagine him running hurdles. That's how we would. We just- our, the nigga who hooked us up, completely fucked us up. I had three acceptance letters from these motherfuckers, y'all. Three! So I'm down at my dad's house, like, hey, I got a place to stay. He's telling me, oh, no, you didn't get accepted yet. I'm clear, okay, I'm, I'm like, all right, bet. So that's the 15th out the window. I'm like, all right, so I'm not moving in the 15th. So that's the 22nd come around the window or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, get to move in. Millie rocking every day. Fuck boy from the office call me, um, it's Harper, I'm sorry. There's something else that we have to figure out. I'm like, all right, 20 second out the window. All right, bet. Maybe the 29th, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Millie rocking every day, let's try. This nigga tells me, okay, Miss Harper, yes, we're good to go. I'm like, yes. So y'all, this is when I told, well, when we told y'all that I was coming back home, we had the new apartment and stuff. Y'all, we told y'all we had the new apartment before, obviously we even had the new fucking apartment, y'all. It was like a week, what, it was like a week and a half before we had to move out of the old spot? It was a week and a half before we had to move out of the old spot. Our old apartment and our current apartment right now, they're close to each other, like 10 minutes apart. So we were just going to pack all the shit up and move immediately. This nigga told us we were going to be able to move in. Y'all, my acceptance letter says the 29th. Bet I'm here on the 29th. This nigga's not even in the office to greet me. We have an appointment set for 9 o'clock. This nigga's not even in the office to greet me. This other little, little... Weak ass hoe is here. And she gonna have the nerve to tell me to y'all that I didn't really get accepted. She's like, oh yeah, you Miss Harper, right? Yeah, we just overlooked your file. You don't have enough pay stubs. Bitch, what? I'm like, I've been dealing with this man for like a good month and a half. Mm-hmm. I have three acceptance letters. What are y'all talking about? Y'all don't have enough pay stubs. She's like, yeah, you're supposed to have six. I'm like, I just started my job. In order for me to have six pay stubs, that means y'all have to wait another two weeks for me to get six pay stubs in which I will be already moved out of my house and homeless. So what what, what are we doing here? Like, I literally picked up and moved from my dad's house off of good faith, off of, off of paperwork too. No, not, not even word. Not, it's not, it's right, not even, not actual even. Paperwork. Actual paperwork. Actual paperwork. That I was gonna move in on a certain day and these motherfuckers had the nerve to tell me that I couldn't move in that day, bro. Talk about living, talk about living. I lit the whole place up because I was like, y'all can't be doing this to people. I have three acceptance letters, not one, not two, but I have three acceptance letters from y'all. So y'all better put me somewhere. We ended up getting to the apartment after all the hoot and hollering. Beautiful apartment. We really rocking every day. We doing the limbo. Oh, no. We doing the oh, limbo. You know, we living it up, y'all. We have the air on, Millie rocking, you know, like, like I said again, we have a deck, we bought a oh, lake. It's like the end of July, so yep. the, it was hot as fuck up it was. It was like that July, August transition where it's like muddy and, and like, hot. Like the humidity just off the yeah, chain, so you just have y'all. to put the air on, so. Mm-hmm. So we had the air on, cranking up our deck, we had a lake view, we have this great room to record in, great lights. So we like, yo, we made it, it's great. And then we realized, oh shit, like we have other bills. We started um, conserving energy. We started shutting off the um, the AC at night and turn up. We used to turn and sleep with the fan on, so we turned the fan off at night, and then that's when they came out. Y'all, <laughs> this when the story gets entirely too real. <sighs> I want y'all to go ahead and replay what the hell we just told y'all we had to go through to get in this motherfucker, and then literally the second week, the second yeah. week, the second week. Oh. We go into our bathroom, y'all, and there is a motherfucking water bug, aka the American cockroach, the size of fucking King Kong's left nutsack. 
right there on the top of our fucking ceiling. Just chilling antennas this fucking size of a giraffe's neck just like this. A, gir of a giraffe's neck. Nigga, it's fucking ridiculous. So I'm sitting here like, oh fuck no. So we don't have no bug spray right now. We got shit. We got some shit called hot spot. Nigga, do not get that shit. That hot spot. Ain't that what the shit? No, no, that's what the shit called hot spot. Please, please. It's called hot shot. It's called hot shot. <laughs> This shit called Hot Shot. Do not get that shit. It was an and, and wrote shit. So I'm thinking, okay, bet, y'all. We kill this nigga. This nigga descends from the ceiling. Yeah, he goes into the sink and we just lose him all of a sudden. He don't even go in the sink. We're like, I know about this. This nigga pulling the Mission Impossible on our ass, nigga. First, I thought he was on the um shower, on the shower curtain. Oh, yeah. And then, because. Tiana was on my on my computer chair. Cause like we had told y'all, we had just moved in. All of our stuff was around the house. So Sorry. Tiana on the computer chair looking around, like just to see this nigga. Cause y'all, he's big, okay? And then if this nigga run across our feet, we dead. Like Or he tried to fly in our face. We dead, y'all. So we basically can't find this nigga. Like we used. No, he like vanished. Y'all, we he van we ain't know where the fuck he went. He literally Vanish and not up the up the wall or anything. But like that. in our face, like he he was the like ground. eye level. <laughs> yeah. He didn't go back up into a vent. No, so we be like, oh hell no, like where the fuck did he go? Yeah. So we didn't see this little nigga for like three days. So we didn't kill that damn bug, y'all. And what happened? The next that's when the next day we saw the the mama and the baby bug. It was the same motherfucking bug, y'all. <laughs> they came back with a little nigga. Had the nerve to come back in the same fucking spot. Yeah, they were both on the wall. Dog, we had got this raid. And insects clearly protect their children too. Like, <laughs> there has to be some mother instincts there. I had used the same, like, half the can on this bitch. Half the fuck. We didn't have the raid then. No, you we didn't have the raid. Was, was, was like, we lied like, to y'all. So exactly. we, had, we still had the hot shot. So we still had the hot shot shit, y'all. So we spraying her. Y'all, she, she starts flying. And she comes down on our damn towels, right? This bitch goes right, like she's climbing up the wall. Yeah. She climbs she's up, the, up the, wall the wall as I'm spraying and her. Going around the wall the whole time. She going around the wall to get back to the little baby. Baby was killing the little baby cockroach. I told you those two, so we had to we had to split up. So uh, baby was killing the baby cockroach. I was handling the mama. So now, I went to go kill the baby cockroach, and as I was going down, I can see like the wings of the mama just like start fluttering. This and bitch stuff. flew from the like the crevices of our shower. She was like in the, in the corner of our shower. She tried to fly she tried to, to the <laughs> baby, and we realized that cockroaches, they, they, their wings aren't meant for flying. So it's just meant for descending. Like yeah, and so she fell. The shit out of us. So it fell, and then like right when she fell, I like looked at the baby, and I like killed it. And as soon as I did that, that bug went crazy. She went like, crazy, but by that time she kind of gave up on life. Right? Yeah, she just like kind of. Eastside stomped that hoe at that point. And she like fell Yep. Like and I've been sucking them up in the vacuum ever since. So after that, y'all, after we had did the matched up with Mama Roach. Y'all, we have been seeing them every fucking day after that. Yeah, like, like, and we realized it's because, like, after we did our research, we realized one is because we're by the lake, two is because we live on the third floor and it's hot as fuck. Y'all know heat rises. Yeah. So that's all bad. So we recently had them come fumigate the whole apartment. Yeah, we and it's been good. Spray. Yeah. And we've been seeing if they out, they they dead already. They're like ah. They're like oh shit, we get it together, bitch. <laughs> But definitely, like y'all, y'all, y'all gotta fumigate y'all apartment, like especially yeah. if it's been vacant. This apartment's been vacant for like a few years. Look like fucking eight-legged freaks. I'll be telling y'all, like, shit was ridiculous. But overall, yes, our external moving experiences have been poor, as y'all can tell. Yeah. But the internal ones have been blissful. Like the whole internal experience has been blissful. Like moving in with Tiana was the best thing I could have ever done. But I had to be ready for it, and yeah. I knew I was ready for it at that time. And how I knew that, I don't know, but. You, I guess you just know, you know. I just kind of knew that I was ready for that. It's all about compromise. Um, like, like I said, y'all gonna learn about yourselves. Y'all gonna learn about everything else. Y'all gonna go through life doing this. Y'all don't wanna. It's a big deal, y'all. Like, whose name's gonna be on the lease? What's gonna happen if we break up? Yeah. Who gonna take what? The furniture. It's a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So you really have to be secure in y'all relationship. Y'all just can't be jumping into moving in together. It don't work like that. Right. Like if y'all unstable, don't do it. Y'all need a foundation. All right, y'all. So those are our moving experiences with some advice. Y'all know we always got to do that for y'all. Many back in that be bad. What you got to say, pumpkin? Nothing. Uh, yeah. All right. So y'all, y'all make sure y'all follow us, love us, like us, subscribe us, like us, touch us, be with us every day. And um, thank you so much for the support, y'all. Um, hit us up on all our social media. Come bug us, whatever. We don't be doing shit. So thank you, y'all. We love you. All right, bye.